What if Ben 10 had a Pokemon team? Well, I hope you're ready because it's hero time! What is up? It is the homie Richie Bond! And we are here to announce 10 aliens that will be on Ben 10's Pokemon team. Now, the first alien that is introduced in Ben 10 is going to be Heat Blast. Now, we're going to be going a little bit in order here. So, Heat Blast does make an appearance first. Not only that, it's a fan favorite. So, I'm thinking all we really need is a fire type. So... That should be pretty easy, right? Now, before we pick our Heat Blast, though, we have to create Ben 10. I'm just going to head over to the menu right here and... Oh. Ain't no way it was that easy. Now we get to choose our starter. Our choices are... All right, I'll take the Dino Nugget. So, you're on the... Who is, call who is calling me at this point? Hello? Yes, this is Ben. Wait, what? That's the Pokemon? I'll have to call you back. You thought you were slick. You were part of the loss of that black shiny Rayquaza, huh? Is that right? No, please. I just want to be on the team. Please. I'm not having it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. No, no. I'm, I'm taking it elsewhere. Luckily for us, we were able to get our actual Heat Blast over here in the Rocky Mountains. So Charcadet is actually going to be the starter. Now, the reason why I chose Charcadet, specifically Armor Rouge, is because you only get to use Armor Rouge in one of the games. And I think he fits the criteria of Heat Blast very, very well with the same fire type moves that they use, not only in the Ben 10 show, but also in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now we head over to Katie, and you should already know how this battle is going to go, right? Fire bug, do you really need to think about it? Like, who would you put your money on? Well, if you chose me, you were wrong because I lost. I, I lost the first match. It's a tough challenge. Not only am I not able to use healing items, I can't terrestrialize either. So that's already two things that... I can't do. However, there is an alternative, and I was able to use held items, specifically the charcoal. If you don't know anything about the held item charcoal, it just basically boosts up the fire type moves. So I decided to put that on Charcadet. That way we can one shot most of her team without taking any damage. The second time, however, I still lost. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I actually did win the second time. With that battle out the way, we got our first bag. I was going to make my way over to Cloth. I cut off my recording at this point because I didn't think anything interesting was going to happen. But then, well, you should just take a look for yourself. There's no! Arvin! No! You bitch! Hi, how are you? Thank the Lord. It's literally a shiny! I can't use this because it's not on the roster of the aliens. All right, let's see if we can catch this. Yes! Woo! If that doesn't deserve a like on this video, I don't know what will. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the Hidden Sand Village. You already know. That surprise out the way, I'm going to be introducing the second alien and that's Wild Mutt. So Wild Mutt is actually in the same episode as Heat Blast. And as the overachiever that I am, I decided to go with Lycanroc. Not just any Lycanroc. I chose that Lycanroc. Here's why. Not only are they both wild and mutts, the color scheme just fits right. Now here's where the tricky part comes in. If you know anything about the Dusk Form Lycanroc, you'll know my pain right here. You have to get a rock rough. That's the easy part, right? However, you have to get a specific rock rough with own tempo. It's not an ability that they usually get, but you can get one in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and so I did. However, when I went up to it, it's level 25. There is a level cap in this playthrough. I can't even use this until at least we get to the dark type team star leader. So I have to do at least three of the major battles with just Heat Blast. I decided to just continue my journey, go up against Cloth, and this is where I 
didn't feel like recording this. I was only trying to do gym leaders, and don't worry, I lost. Badly. <laughs> Am I cheating? No, because even if I cheated, I still lost with Terrestrialization. I'm going up against the Rock type, and I'm a Fire type, and I only got one Pokemon. What are the other alternatives that I can go with to basically get through this Krusty Krab? And I had to pull some strings here just to get our full-fledged Heat Blast. And with that, we were able to get through Cloth. I decided to move on to Brassius, and that battle literally took me five minutes. And then comes Bombardier. Well, let's just say Arvin made me a good chicken parm sandwich. It was a good sandwich. Until my freaking ride Pokemon took it from me. Now we're able to go on to the next battle, and that is with Gaikamo. But I thought you were only going to do gym leaders. What are, you, what are you talking about? The reason why I'm giving you this battle, little Timmy, is because I'm trying to introduce the third alien. Wake up! You didn't let me finish. In order to do the mini game, you need three Pokemon. So far, we only have two, which means the third alien is Diamond Head. Cue the music! You just got coconut mold. Yeah, it's Duraladon. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to use Dialga? Come on. Of course I should have used Dialga considering that Diamond Head is, well, a diamond. And Dialga, well, he's the face of Pokemon Diamond. But I'm not no weenie. I'm not no wuss. We're not those people that use legendaries here. And now you might be saying, why'd you choose Dereladon, though? If you squint hard enough and you just put some green on it, I mean, it's kind of like Diamond Head. Kind of. But then again, it gives me a chance to kind of show off the new form that Dereladon has, which is Archuladon. And now with that, we have three aliens to go up against the dark type team star leader that is still a long title. Who is writing my script? We got past this team dark... <sighs> We're gonna call the dark type team star leader Jimmy. We got past Jimmy. We're heading over to Iono. It was at this point where I saw Wild Mutt was a little bit over leveled, which isn't a horrible thing because it gives me an excuse to reveal two aliens. So the next one that makes an appearance in Ben 10 is Accelerate. And we need something fast. And I'm kind of happy with my choice here. Cyclozar would be our Accelerate. They actually look pretty similar. They're both reptiles in a way. And not only that, Cyclozar is actually pretty fast, considering that he's a ride Pokemon in Paldea. So with that, Cyclozar is now our new Accelerate. The fifth alien is Gray Matter. I want you to think of the most annoying Pokemon in Paldea that you keep running into that super small, you know, went to college. I went to college! Do you have your guesses? Well, Here's mine. What's up, brother? Yes. It is that little squirt right there. Basically the same size. Gray Matter and Nimble, they're both tiny. You know, but with that, I'm going to be using low kicks. But I wanted you guys to know that Nimble was going to be my Gray Matter. But we beat Iono. We took her subscribers. They came over to the Richie Bus channel, if you guys didn't know. But now we get to introduce three... Yeah, that's right, three aliens. Why three aliens, you ask? Well, we're gonna be going up against Kofu, and there's one specific alien in order to kind of get past Kofu. So let me go down the line. So the next alien is going to be Forearms. And you guys might be saying to yourself, Oh my gosh, that's easy. You should just use Machamp. Machamp. Machamp has Forearms. You're gonna be using Forearms. Like, it's, it's so simple, right, Richie? No, it's not. The reason why is because Machamp is not in the game. So, we gotta be a little bit creative here. The next Pokemon is Incineroar. In one of Ben 10's episodes, we do see four arms being in a wrestling match. If you've played Smash Ultimate, Incineroar's ultimate is him in a wrestling match. So that's why Incineroar is going to be our forearms here. Stingfly is the next one that makes an appearance. So I didn't want to go for another bug type to be going with low kicks. So I thought, why not go for a poison type? Galarian Weezing. The color schemes are somewhat there. They actually have qualities in terms of Stinkfly's acid. The next alien is going to be the alien that we use against Kofu, and that is Ripjaws. Now I want you to look at Ripjaws. Look him dead in the eyes. Who do you think is going to be our Ripjaws? It is Lantern, that's right. They both got that little dangly thing and everything like that. 
I mean, one's prettier than the other, but still, they can be like cousins. So now we got our fourth badge. So now we only have two more left. The next one is Upgrade. And the first Pokemon that I thought of is Ditto. And I'd be damned if I use a Ditto. I'm not using it. It's garbage. It's trash. Surprisingly, I chose Renucleus. You know, just how, like, Upgrade morphs into things, I can see Renucleus doing that. That's what I'm going with. I'm going with Renucleus as upgrade. <laughs> the funny part is, is that we don't really need Renucleus for Larry. No problem at all right there. But now we're going up against Rhyme. And this is where I introduced the final and last alien. But let's just say that this alien gets a little bit freaky. I mean, you can kind of get freaky with that, right? Ghost Freak is the last alien that was introduced in the original Ben 10 series. Ghost Freak and this Pokemon are basically identical twins. And that's Duskinore. They have the one eye, they have the mouth on the stomach. It was kind of a match made in heaven right there. These 10 aliens, I am supposed to go and be champion. So how did I do? Well, I'll just show you. Montage. This is gonna be the last battle here, and we're going up against somebody that is destroying the world. And as Ben 10, you already know that it's gotta be hero time. And it's the professor. I'll just let in-game me do the talking, because this battle determines the fate of the world. Alright, I gotta set up the stealths. Okay, so I am faster. Low sweep. Mm -hmm. That is a one-shot, but that's alright. Watch this! <laughs> Boom! You bringing out the French? Don't know how fast it is, but I gotta go for it! I gotta get a little bit creative here. Oh, big brain. Big brain! We're gonna go mystical fire. Oh, fuck. It was a crit? <laughs> I don't wanna see it in my presence. Thank you. Alright, Duskinor, no crits, please! Oh, I don't think I'm gonna survive. I don't think I'm gonna survive. Okay, maybe I am gonna survive. I just need to have confidence, ghost freak. You're super fat. Really? So all I gotta do is just survive? Five. I just don't, yeah. Hold up. <gasps> I survived. This could kill. This could kill. They ask you how you are. You I did. Oh, know. wait. I have shadow sneak. Priority. <laughs> I have shadow sneak. He's a phantom. Final Pokemon. Take it. And... What the fuck? I'm gonna go for the bulk up. No! Oh, but that was such a bad play on my part. No. It's all up to you, Stinkfly. It's all up to you. I gotta just go for the strange stream and then pray. Pray! No! Okay, please kill. Please. Please! Yes! Yes! Ben 10 for the win! What if Ben 10 had a Pokemon team? Well, I guess you could say he's still a hero no matter what universe he's in. If you guys enjoy, make sure to crush that subscribe button, sand burial that shit, and join the Hidden Sand Village. Leave a like down below if you like this video. Leave a comment down below if I should do Ben 10 Alien Force or if I should include other aliens. As my lord and savior says, y'all stay up like a lip and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. That's all, folks.